Hello, my name is Michael Alejandro. Welcome to the Opportunity Home Inspection presentation. We'll be starting out with the front entry door to the unit. Basically what we're looking for is to make sure that the primary lock engages and disengages with no hard effort. Uh, the next one we're gonna do is uh, open the door and make sure that it's working as designed. The front door or any entry door should have the proper weather strip, weather sealing. What we're looking for is to make sure that the metal striker plates are in place and this applies to any entry door or exit door to the unit. Uh, so we'll be uh, closing this door back. What we do is we're gonna step back here and take a look at the door and make sure there's no light coming through the seal. And in this case, this, this is a good door. Moving into the kitchen. The appliances, the stove, whether it's gas or electric, uh, we're checking to make sure that they are in good working condition. We're going to turn the knobs to the on position. We're going to turn the oven on. And we're going to verify that it's working. Oven is good. Gas burners or electric elements are working. I'm going to turn the knobs back off. And this is a good working stove. Now we're going to be moving up to the microwave. Basically what we're looking for is to make sure that there's power to the microwave and that it's in good working condition. We're checking the filters, make sure they're clean and that there's no grease accumulation. And this is a good microwave. Moving on to the refrigerator. We're checking to make sure that it's in good working condition. The door seals must be in good condition, not torn or missing. The shelving should be in place. We're checking the freezer. We're checking the refrigerator. We're checking to make sure that it's maintaining a temperature low enough to keep the foods from spoiling. Yeah, this is an example of a good working refrigerator. If a dishwasher is in place, it should be in good working condition. What we're doing is we're checking to make sure that it's properly secured in place that the unit does have the proper sealing. Um, we're gonna make sure that it powers up and no signs of leaks. That's a good dishwasher. Now we're gonna move over to the plumbing side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check to make sure that the P-trap is in place. There's no visible signs of leaks. If a garbage disposal is in place, it should be in good working condition. We're gonna flip over the switch, make sure it works. And that's a good garbage disposal. Uh, unit must have Good cold and hot running water. We're gonna check the proper temperature and the range should be between 95 and 120 Fahrenheit. That's a good water pressure and temperature. Countertops must be in good condition with no signs of defects. What we're looking for is any sharp edges, any cracks on the countertop. And uh, this is a good countertop. Electrical outlets must be properly installed and properly wired. No signs of defects, no cracked or broken cover plates. What we're doing is we're using a three-prong tester to check the polarity. This is a good outlet. In the kitchen, floors, walls, and ceilings must be sound and free of hazardous conditions. The floors must pose no hazard, no cracked tiles, no loose or lifting carpets, no splintered wood walls, must not have defects with buckling, bulging, or leaning, damaged or loose structural members, no large holes or cracks. Ceilings must have no defects, maybe with large holes, large cracks, any bulging or buckling or falling loose surface material. A permanently installed ceiling light fixture or wall mounted light fixture must be in good working order. All cabinet space used for storage must be in good condition with no signs of hazards. Windows must be free of signs of deterioration of broken or missing window panes. They must work as designed. What we're looking for is to make sure that the windows open, stay open on their own, close, and be lockable. That's a good window. Electrical outlets must be properly installed and properly wired with no signs of deterioration, no cracked or broken outlet covers. What we're doing is checking the polarity with a three-prong tester, and uh, this is a sign of a good electrical outlet. Uh, moving on to the light fixtures, whether they're ceiling or wall-mounted, 
What we're doing is checking to make sure that they're in good working order. Smoke detectors are required in the bedroom and just outside the bedroom. Must be installed correctly, four to 12 inches from ceiling corner. Must be working as designed. Remember to follow the manufacturer's specifications when installing. All electrical panels, inside and out, must be in good condition with no missing knockouts, no openings, exposing any of the inside electrical parts. This is a good breaker box. Bathroom sink must have hot and cold running water. The plumbing drain, P-trap must be in place with no signs of water leaks. Toilet must be in good working condition. Bathroom is required to have a ventilation source, either a window or a mechanical exhaust fan. Shower and tub must have hot and cold running water. Moving up to the light fixtures, ceiling mounted or wall mounted light fixtures must be in good working order. All exterior doors that lead to the outside must be in good condition with no defects. What we're looking for is to make sure that the primary lock engages and disengage with no hard effort. We're gonna open the door. What we're doing now is checking the weather stripping, make sure that it's in place. We're also checking the metal striker plates on the door jam, make sure that those are in place. And we're going to shut the door again, make sure that it locks and that's a good functioning door. Electrical outlets must be properly installed and properly wired. No broken or missing cover plates. What we're doing is we're gonna check the electrical outlet for polarity. This is a good working outlet. Moving on to the window, what we're gonna do is make sure that the window uh, opens and stays open on its own. We're gonna shut the window and make sure that it's lockable. Windows must be sound and free of deterioration, no cracked or broken panes. Ceiling light fixtures or wall mounted light fixtures must be in good working order. Light switches, light switch covers must be properly installed and in good working order. No signs of hazardous conditions, cracked or broken cover plates. Smoke detectors are required in the bedroom and just outside the bedroom. Must be installed to manufacturer specifications four to 12 inches from the ceiling corner, and mess work is designed. Floors, walls, and ceilings must be sound in good condition and free of hazardous defects. Water heaters, gas, or electric must be sound and free of hazardous conditions a temperature pressure relief valve is required in a downward direction. Gas water heaters must be vented into a properly installed chimney or flue leading to the outside. Hot water range must be between 95 and 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Heating is required by owner and must be capable of delivering enough heat to maintain a healthy environment, 65 degrees or warmer. This applies to electric space heaters and gas-fired furnaces as well. Gas-fired furnaces must be vented into a properly installed chimney or flue leading to the outside. The unit address must be visible from the outside. Exterior stairs and interior stairs with four or more steps require a hand railing. Balconies and porches over 30 inches in height require a hand railing. Building exteriors must be sound and free of hazards. This includes the siding, the soffit, the fascia, and the rain gutters. Owners must provide a working mailbox. Sidewalks in common areas should be sound and free of hazardous conditions. Playgrounds must be well maintained with no hazardous conditions. If a pool is provided, it must be well maintained year round with a secured fencing.
all painted surfaces on pre-1978 units with children under the age of six must be free of deteriorated paint. This includes decks, stairs, play areas, garages, fences, or other areas if frequented by children. There must be no presence of rodents or severe insect infestations such as roaches that pose a health hazard. There must be no large piles of trash or garbage or other debris that might harbor rodents. Trash containers with covers for garbage must be provided. Carbon monoxide detectors must be present in units with fuel-fired burning appliances, fireplaces, or any other attached garages. Carbon monoxide detectors must be installed to manufacturer's specifications. Is the site and immediate neighborhood free from hazardous conditions, dilapidated buildings or sheds on or near the property, unprotected heights, and evidence of flooding or major drainage problems?